What's going on, fam? It's your boy Mike. I'm back at it again here, continuing the Let's Play series that I just started. Uh, say psych right now, episode three. And uh, last episode, we uh, got into the game. We did basic braining with Coach Oleander. Showed us the ropes. Showed us his mind. Uh, we showed up Bobby, Bobby Zilch, the bully, that Napoleon Dynamite looking motherfucker and his little crony. And uh, you know, at the end of it. At the end of the episode, we got invited by Sasha Nine to do the advanced training, go to his lab and uh, see what's up there. So that's what we're going to do in this episode. And then um, if there's time after, I might do some more. If not, we'll end it after that. Uh, but let's see what's in store for us over there. I haven't played this in a long time, like I said before. So I don't remember. I don't remember what's going on. So I'm just as eager as you guys are to uh, figure that shit out. So let's pop on over to the game right now <laughs> alright there we go everything should be working if you don't see it right now it might be because I have to load so let me load actually let me load hard load see I think that A is autosave so I think that's last time so let's do our f last save which is this one the bottom one's the backup. The bottom one's the backup save, so I don't want to delete that yet. Alright, so here we are. Back at it. Uh, let's see, let's look, take a look at our uh, accoutrement. See, the kids changed positions, so they got other stuff to say. So uh, let me check that again. Rank 6, 25 figments, 21, arrowheads, 11, uh, side cards, or whatever. Coach Oleander was up there. He gave me a, a little thing. View your current psi powers. Make this out here. In this thought bubble, or press left on the D-pad to see what's in your backpack. Okay. To pull out an item from your backpack, point to it with a left stick and then press A to return it back to your backpack later. Press B. Sasha's button. Well, let's not use the button yet. Let's talk to these kids, see what the hell okay. they're up to. I'm gonna close my eyes, right? And then I'm gonna start to count to a hundred, okay? And then you guys hide. Everybody got it? It's hide and seek, Vernon, not hide and calculus. We've all got it. I got it. You start counting, and then I go hide in that bush. Great. One. Milka, you're a genius. Come on, Duggan. Hold on. This reminds me of a story. It's about counting. Hello? This Man, boy is simple. You guys are good. Hey, Vernon, what's up? Vernon, that's a kid's name. Dangerous prey of all. Man. Vernon got the traits of a serial killer if I've ever seen one. More so than Peepin' Tom Kid. Whatever the fuck that guy's name was. Um, let's see. Uh, do these recharge every time, or did I miss this? We got Arrowhead. Oof, the performance. <laughs> let's see what we got. The fuck? Must be him upstairs. Um, let's pull out the button and see if my man's here got anything to say. This button looks familiar to you? Oh man, that's from the geodesic psycho isolation chamber. That reminds me of this time I was stuck in there for three days straight. The first ten minutes weren't bad. But then the second five were pretty scary. I was delirious for the three after that, and then... Hey, I think I see Elko over there. Where? Bye, son. You talk a lot. On sale now in the main store, we have a special on Dream Fluffs. You hear me? Dream Fluffs. They're good for you. Keep a pocket full of these for a quick boost of mental health. Ah, potion, eh? Raz has still the item in his backpack to see what's in his Raz's backpack and what merit badges he has. Press the left D-pad button. I guess that's how you call it. 
It's not really a button, but... Left on the D-pad. Give me that. Well, I mean, not much else around here. All the kids are gone. No passing. But I need to get to Sasha 9's secret lab. Maybe you should have thought of that before. I did think of that before. That's why I'm here now. <laughs> exactly. Now you gotta pay the toll. One arrowhead. Pay up. I found this thing. Is that what you're talking about? Yep. That's an arrowhead. How'd they get here? Frankie, the new kid can't be this dumb, right? The camp's built on an Indian burial ground, and... Oh, my gosh! Indians buried their dead here? Indigenous peoples, I, I guess we would not. say now. No, stupid. They buried their arrowheads here. They're hidden underground, but they let out a little gas once in a while. Just like Coach Oleander. So if you see any of that stuff, just pull them right out. Like truffles. Anyway, let me have one of yours. Yeah, they legit took of Arrowhead. Oh, you can't read that sign. Alright, fuck it, let's go. Whoa there, you. Come here, you. Can't do the scavenger hunt without a list. Report back to me when you have enough items for your first promotion. Now get! Scavenger hunt items. Find eight items and you'll be promoted four ranks. Find eight more and get promoted on another four ranks. Golden acorn, dinosaur bone, diver's helmet, eagle claw, condor egg, fossil, knife, voodoo doll, turkey sandwich, psychonauts comic number one, fertility idol. So where do I... Hey, where'd he go? How does that old guy get around so fast? Teleportation. Let's talk to my man. This way to Lake Oblongata. Lake Oblongata. I'll let you know if I see anything. Cannot lurk forever there. Mikhail will find you. Mikhail. 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 Do you know Sasha? No, wait, wrong button. Hey, I got this button from Sasha 9 and I have to give it back. Do you know where a secret lab is? Do not know. Why not ask Foxy girlfriend over there? Foxy girlfriend. The girlfriend thing. Listen. Hey, just kidding. Mikhail no woman with only one thing. Oh. Wrestling. But unless you have skinny arms like your girlfriend. Then how to block You got some skinny arms, bro. I'm just now let's just explore over here real quick before we head into Sasha 9 shit. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this frame rate. Oh here we go, the fucking lovebirds. What you doing there? We're making friendship bracelets. You know, for our friends. Hey, is that my name on that one? Not unless your name is Frankie or Kitty. Well, fuck y'all then. I don't care. I don't want to be your friend. Oh, I can go in the lodge. Oh, shit. Y'all jamming out here. Hey, you guys are good. Thanks, man. Hey, do you have a lighter? Because if you lit it and held it up right now, that would be rad. And completely insensitive to me and my issues. Oh, right, right. Oh, never mind. I forgot about the whole fire bad thing for a moment. Hey, why are you stopping? Oh, I thought you stopped. No, 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 no. Let's go. <laughs> Is the store? Oh. I heard something. Oh, it's just that. Excuse me. I told you the burgers ain't ready. But no, you didn't. The coals ain't hot. They're not gonna be done for a while. And maybe a week. A week? They're back ordered. I'm the only one back here. These things take time. I don't even want a hamburger. 
Oh, well, why didn't you say so? So, what do you want? Oh, that's my last cobweb duster. Take that into someone's mind with you. You can clean up. They're happy to eight hundred dollars. And you can or turn them in for side cards. Eight hundred arrows. Now with that, you can change the color of some of your side powers, like your levitation ball and what have you and what not. Well, kind of a vanity thing. You know, in my day, side powers were all gray, and we thought that was grand. We were happy just to have side powers. Ah, but you know, kids these days. <laughs> ah, now here's something every young side cadet needs. What is it? Now with that, ah, now here's something every now that Dawson rod will help you find arrowheads that are buried deep. That's where all the really valuable ones are, you know. Find three or four deep deposits, and that baby pays for itself. It costs you money because it makes you money. Now, you take that side core there, put it together with nine side cards, and you'll have yourself a brand new side challenge marker, which is worth a whole rank, you know. Mmm, dream fluffs. Delicious, nutritious, and cheap. Each one is packed with concentrated mental health. <laughs> you shouldn't go anywhere without mental a pocket health. full of those. And a candy, if only, now, huh? You take that side core there. I'm buying one of these. Together take with not sold to the big-headed kid with the gloves. What else can I do you for? Now, you take that side core there. Put it together. Oh, I see. You can do that. Now, here's something every Attracts mental health and other useful needs. psychic energies. Oh, that's pretty useful. That's it for now. I don't have enough money. All right. Go get more airheads and come on back. Support your local merchants. Let's try to support the local merchants, bro. Let's see. How do I redeem that shit? Hey, where's my hammer? I'm just kidding. I just want to buy some. Don't push me, Sonny. I can reach you with... Ah, now here's something That's every on the side could All right. Right. Go get more airheads and come on. Nah. Nah, man, I'm cool. I bought that damn side core, but I don't know how to combine them. What's that say? Oh, the lodge. No, I don't want to go in the lodge again. Okay, I talked to them. There's the girl. I feel like she's going to have an answer for me, so let's just keep exploring. Warning, geodesic psycho-isolation chamber this way. Stay this out. way. It's in here. Gold doubloon. I think that's one of the scavenger hunt items. This way to Lake Oblongata. Oh, there's a annoying kids. Let's go see what they say. King of the obstacle course. Hey, Rez! You're awesome. You must be a psychonaut by now. Yeah, or even a double psychonaut. <laughs> oh no, not yet. But soon. Wow, those two are so nice. The fuck they on drugs? The fuck are they doing? <laughs> I'm going up there. Hey, what are you guys doing up here? Uh, writing cheers. Oh yeah, writing cheers. Wanna hear one? Uh, okay. Ready? Okay. When I grow up. Hey, what you gonna be? I'm gonna be the best. Just like my meat homie. And when you say homie, whose horn might you be tooting? The mind reading psycho thriller. Oh, you must mean Rasputin. Yeah! Oh, no, Rez! Jesus. Must be on drugs. Remember to keep filling up those scavenger hunt forms. We got a couple of big promotions for the winner. No, I fell. It's okay. Uh, 
All right, girl. I don't want to leave this area without talking to you first. Hey, Lily. Do you know where Sasha Nine's Lily. secret lab is? Secret? It's printed on your map. Duh. Oh, I knew that. I was just curious if you knew where Sasha Nine's lab was. Because I do. Uh-huh. Look at those two. Who'd even want a stupid friendship bracelet? I don't know. I wouldn't mind one. Yeah? Well, that's stupid. <laughs> you sure are mean. Want to measure my wrist? Just in case. Mm, no. Dang. She not having it. Let's go down here. This is the opposite way, right? I think this is the way we're supposed to go. To the main lodge. Warning. Jesus yeah, that way. So let's this way. go the Stay wrong out. way. Let's see what's over here. Oh, I was like, what is this? It's a parking lot. <laughs> I forget that I don't have to smack it. I can just hit it. <laughs> or, uh, activate it or whatever. Funky ass cars. Man, this thing was old when they chopped it down. Let's see. 500 years ago, enormous titanium bearing meteorite strikes the Earth, leaving a giant crater. 200 years ago, native inhabitants begin making arrowheads out of the titanium, which they call by the name Whispering Rock. This is a rough English translation. 100 years ago, prospectors and settlers take over the area, naming mm -hmm. their boomtown Shaky Claim. 99 years ago. 99 the first years ago. Case of paranormal hysteria diagnosed in shaky claim. 75 years ago, Houston Thorny builds his home for the demented to deal with the insanity epidemic. 60 years ago, more residents in asylum than in the town. Houston Thorny commits suicide by leaping from tower. Jesus. 55 years ago, asylum closes. Last Valley residents paid to leave by the federal government flood the crater to prevent further habitation, Lake Oblongata is created. Five years ago, Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp founded to nurture and train future psychonauts. Last summer, I got to first base with Elka Doom, signed Nils Hootfisk. Man, this thing was old when they chopped it down. <laughs> Let's see. It's an epic saga. It's a fucking tractor? It's a lifted truck. Oh, well, hello. And another one. Agent Crawler's special lab equipment to put the cards and core together. Aha. Makes sense that you need to read. All right, let's see. Goodbye, let's cool camp. I'm tired of being picked on by Bobby and all the mean kids at camp. If I just had one friend here who was nice, then I would stay. But you're all mean, and no one stands up for me, so I'm going home. I'll be in the parking lot waiting for my dad. So if you want to pick on me one last time, you better hurry. Maloof. <laughs> Maloof. The fucking name. Sorry if your name's Maloof, but... It's, uh... It's amusing to me. Did I come this way? Let's go over here. Shit. <laughs> this episode might just be me looking around and shit. Whole damn camp's open now. I lied to y'all. I said we were gonna go to <laughs> Sasha and I's lab and shit. Warning. Geodesic psycho isolation chamber this way. Stay out. Sound like a monster. What's that noise? Show yourself. Oh. It's 
fire is loud as fuck. Oh my god. What the hell is that noise? Oh, hello. Oh shit, that's a fucking bear, brother. Oh, what the fuck? What is that? A psycho bear. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> we fighting, bro. It's on sight. Fucking floating and shit. Bitch, you thought you was a mother- Oh! I got stuck. I got stuck. Oh, he grabbed my ass. Oh, shit. Okay, this is a bad scene. <laughs> this... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I thought I heard a fucking monster, man. Oh, damn. This is the real world. What if I die in the real world? Oh, man. I fucked up, everyone. Mistakes were made. Let's, uh... Let's get out of here and go to the damn, uh... The Dimmodome. Who's that? Hmm, excuse me. I'm gonna come back. Don't worry. The bear ain't gonna win that easy. Can't open that. Heal me, old man. Mm, an eager one. Eager to learn, I wonder, or just eager to play. <laughs> sir, I am here to learn, sir. You're here Itch. to train hard? Mm, yes, sir. Develop a skill? Yes, sir. To become part of a noble team? Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. To become? Yes. A janitor. No. What? I'm here to be a psychonaut. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there the brainy jub jub goes on upstairs. But down here it's pushing brooms, not bending spoons. <laughs> hey, Mr. Crawler, do you know where Sasha Nine's lab is? What? Huh? S secret underground lab? I don't have a secret underground lab. That's top gobberish. Now beat it. Get top gobberish. Stop at my mops. I don't believe you, sir. Oh, my to oh, oh shit, look at that. The health. Oh man. The frames. Hmm. Got it. Can't climb that. The hell is that down there? Holy shit. All right. Nope. Goodbye. Hey, the hell am I at? To the whispering rocket underground rapid transit system. Would you like to go back to your private sanctuary now, Agent Kreller? Or somewhere else? Let's go Let's to the forts. Oh, uh, yeah. My sanctuary. The sanctuary. Yes, noble psycho master. Person, sir. I thought I recognized you in my dream, but I couldn't be sure. Now that I see you in your element, there's no doubt. You're Ford Crawler, the greatest leader the Psychonauts ever had. Ford Crawler. Uh, you shouldn't believe everything you read in True Psychic Tales magazine. 
All right. What are you doing here at Whispering Let's see. Rock? This trading facility is built right smack on top of the largest titanium deposit known to man. It runs under this whole valley and makes this a very critical area for the psychonauts. So I'm here to look after it and to make sure you little spoon benders don't kill each other. What's titanium? Titanium is a very rare psychoreactive mineral that crashed here on a meteorite hundreds of years ago. It responds to psychic waves, focuses them, amplifies them. It can make psychics more psychic, but it can also make unstable people more unstable. Not everyone can handle that much activity in that part of their brain. It can drive them completely out of their gourd. Gives this valley an interesting history. Oh, I read up on that. I saw you raking leaves. Was that a disguise? Uh, yes. Well, well, I have many disguises. It, it helps me keep an eye on you kids wherever you go. <laughs> now, <clears throat> when I'm in disguise, <laughs> Sounds I may weird. pretend not to recognize you. Don't blow my cover, okay? Say no more. Your secret identity is safe with me. So, what mission are you on down here? Well, from here I can monitor world events, look for signs of psychic terrorism, ripples in the astral plane. And then fly out and save the day, right? You've got a jet hidden here somewhere, I'll bet. Well, you know, these days I'm really just more of a, a dispatcher. I spot the trouble and send out a, a, a younger agent, like Mia or Sasha. Or maybe you someday. What does all this equipment do? Well, up here, it's all intel. Down that hallway is the observation room. No tests going on in there right now. Maybe later. And beneath us, I have special machines for rebuilding side challenge markers and detangling mental cobwebs. You should go familiarize yourself with those. They'll come in pretty handy for you. I'd better go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. A lot of info there, a lot of info. Don't worry, I'll be right here with you, inside your head. My head? Yep, I want to keep my eye on you, son, so I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your noggin. If you ever want to make me appear, you can do it with this special device. It's bacon. Is that <laughs> a piece of bacon? Oh, yeah, I just love bacon. I smell that stuff and I can't help it. I drop everything and come running. Okay. Do you have, like, a little baggie or something I could put this in? You get a move on or I'll eat that right here. Ford is a... is a wild one. Cool. We got 24 cards now. Now, before you go electrocuting yourself, let me tell you how these babies work. Now, this beauty here is a mental cobweb detangler. Oh, I know what those are. Mental cobwebs are... You see, when an area of your psyche is neglected for too long, mental cobwebs form. Now, up in the camp store, they sell a very special device known as a mental cobweb duster. You can take a projection of it into the mental world with you and use it to extract any cobwebs you find. The duster stores the cobweb's psychic energy on the real world side. So, you can take what you collect back here, hook it up to the loom, and weave that tangled mess into something useful. Like a card from a side challenge marker, which brings us to this fella over here. You put nine side cards into this guy, along with one side core, also sold in the company store for nominal fee, and it will <laughs> kick out a bona fide side challenge marker, which will earn you a promotion to a higher rank. Rank up enough, you'll earn new psychic abilities. You got it? Put my mental cobwebs in there, and my side cards and cores in there, and soon I'll be able to burn stuff. Yep, basically. Have fun. All right, I got a side core and shit, so let's do that. Boom, I got 24 cards. Rank seven, lucky number seven. Okay, let's, uh, let's get out of here. How the fuck I get out of here? Here we go. Cool. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler?
Um, main lodge. The main lodge. Oh. That's, that's where I remember Bring the path. Back a burger this time, will you? Burgers aren't ready. There we go. Back at it. Let's uh, head the right way this time. Oh shit. Struggling. Oh no, this, this, this is the way right here. I just gotta look in all the little nooks, nooks and crannies to find all the little cards and stuff. Ah. That looks like the right symbol. What's this, this way to Lake Oblongata. Can I go to the lake? Let's go. I feel like the recording kind of stutters every time I load, but... Can't really help that. Oh, I'll make another one. I just don't have enough money to... Oh, no, I think I do to get another core, but... Eh. I'll do it later. This will be the last place we visit before we head over to the dome. Oh. Cutscene. water. It's a bunch of hooey anyway. Some old gypsy curse about how we're all supposed to die in water. If you can believe that. Oh! I thought it was about the whole thing with the brain-eating fish that walks out of the lake at night to hunt for victims. Well, see ya! <laughs> um, hey Raz. I saw you and Lily talking in the coach's class, and I was wondering, were you asking her to go with you what no i'm here to train no distractions excellent bye that's funny oh that must be the rapid transit thing right just an update for everyone mills and i are still broken up and no matter how much he begs, I am not taking him back. Also, you should know that my new boyfriend doesn't like being called JT anymore. His real name is James. Sincerely, Elka. Hmm. Who's this person? Hey, Mr. Oh. Crawler, can I take out a canoe? Mr. Who? You will call me Admiral, son. No, you can't charter a vessel. Not without an oarsman's badge. Oarsman's badge. Oh. Itchy ankle. All right. Well, let's give it a little. Let's do a lap. Oh, these fucking douches. What's that round thing up on the dock. That thing? Oh man. Let me tell you about that thing. That thing is none of your stinking business. Oh, no, you don't. Hey. Hey. Fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> Just. Oh, I can't get it past them. Oh, blame. Hey, these motherfuckers talking shit over there. Help me, help me out. Counselor, come on. Beat the fuck. Fuck you, bitch. Bah. <laughs> it's the whole episode now. <laughs> they get to push me even if I just hit him once. That's trash. Alright. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> oh, there's a, there's a thing there. Just this kid. 
I forgot his name. Hey, are you psychic fishing? I've read about that. Oh, I could never fish. That would be terrible. Regular people can be mean to fish, I guess, but I can't. I can hear everything the little guys are thinking. Fish think? About what? Well, normally not much, but today they're all kind of freaked. They're scared of something in the lake. Me too. Now that I know it's full of freaked out thinking fish. There's something big and scary out there, Raz. I wonder, could the old legends be true? <laughs> What's that? I can barely hear you. I like this kid. But that doesn't make any sense. What are you talking about? That's crazy. No fish is that big. No regular fish anyway. Hey, did it have enormous glowing eyes by any chance? Walk away slowly. And did it have a prehensile lure that it uses to attract and snare its prey? Sounds like an angler fish. Oh, these fish? No, those are not. Those fish are not alive anymore. That a dead fish you're eating there? Get some more stuff here, and then uh, that'll be that'll be enough. I'll be back later, I'm sure. Oh. Got it. The fuck? Looks like I can swing on this. There we go. Give me that. Give me that. This time, thanks. Oh, my word! Oh, no. Uh, this way. some advanced training right now as a matter of fact so i don't think new kid is really a name that you want to get too used to saying well, hold on there you're not doing sasha nine's advanced training that he does in a secret underground lab are you hidden deep within the iron walls of the gpc where no one can hear you screaming why yes i am sakes alive well nice knowing you <laughs> i don't know me I'm built different. <laughs> hey, was that you? Looking at me? Maybe you should try getting over yourself? There were a lot of other people on that stage besides you. No, just now. In the woods. Hmm, <laughs> no. It must have been something else. You don't smell like pond scum. Nice. You should write green <laughs> cards. There was some sort of shadowy being out there. Lurking. Watching. I know of only one creature who fits that description. It likes to hide in dark places, silently watching unsuspecting children from a distance. Really? Who? You, tree sitter! <laughs> What a character. Uh, that's the beach. I don't give a shit about the beach. It's down here. Oh, 
Oh, no, no. Not reception area. Hey, that boy Dogen. I saw Nils peeking into a hole in the girl's cabin. I'm hiding. And I thought, oh, Nils, when will you peek into the hole in my heart? Because you Ugh. just see yourself staring back. Uh-huh. What? <laughs> I mean, he'd see my new boyfriend, James, staring back. And he'd be furious at Nils. Who's Nils? Exactly. And... Anyway, there wouldn't even be a hole because James fills my heart till sometimes I think it's gonna explode. One time, I made someone's head explode. Well, okay, maybe there's still a little hole. Actually, it happened four times. But James and I have each other now, and Nils is just gonna have to deal with it. Now they make me wear this special hat, so I don't have any more accidents. Are you even listening to me, Dogen? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Hey, Elka. Why don't you and your little goggles go poke around in someone else's private business? Hey, Dogen. I got a secret for you. Nils. Hey, not fair. Whispering is so rude. What did he tell you, Dogen? I Gibberish. He did it ever. Ah, I see. Overshot it. Gotta get better at this jumping thing. Yep, yep, so we want to see. Fuck, I overshot it again. Ugh. Ah. Uh, I just want that arrowhead, that's all. I just want the one. Not too much to ask, right? See? It's nothing. Ah, fucking... Fucking bears and shit. Do with bears, right? Yell at him. What the hell is this? Nope, still won't budge. <laughs> Another challenge marker. They're coming quick. Feather. <clears throat> I feel like I'm back where I started almost. Oh man, that frame rate. Alright, let's at least get to the place. And we'll end it there. And we'll make it. Oh shit. Why is he crying? What the fuck? Oh 
the fuck are you, kid? Somebody! There's no bathroom in here! There it is. Thanks. I thought I was gonna have to eat my own arm. What is this thing? It's a GPC, a geodesic psychoisolation chamber. Oh man, cool! Cool? Do you have any idea what this does? Something cool? Uh, <laughs> no, it's a six sensory deprivation tank, a hermetically sealed metaphysical hot box. It's solitary confinement for psychics. Nasty. And the coach locked you inside it? Nah, the staff hasn't put any kids in the GPC since the 50s. Bobby threw me in here. Bullion dwarf accomplice should assault own size or larger only. Damn right, Why Russian man. Cooler? Perhaps notice gigantic bear with skin where hair should be? I didn't see anything in there. That's the whole point. Hmm. Just so. Empty now. Good luck, small ones. Hey, wait! I guess we're going in there. That's where we might end the episode too. Just look around some more at the uh, the area here. I hate that fucking bear. I'm gonna kill that motherfucker one of these days. I don't like it. I don't remember the bears at all either. All right. Let's, uh, I don't know if I should go in there and save it. Nah, I'll save it out here. Save. We'll do this. I'll leave that in case this one didn't work. And head out to the title. Yeah, I'll leave it. I'll leave it playing. Why not? I'll leave it playing. All right. And that was uh, what's it called? Episode three of Say Psych right now. Let's play Psychonauts. Um, I said I was gonna go to Sasha and I's lab, and I technically did. Just we didn't actually do it. Um, but we learned a lot about the camp. We learned about the history. We learned about the janitor man. We learned about. Psychors, we learned about Maloof, and we learned about the fish, we learned about all kind of shit. <laughs> Next episode, we'll head into the chamber and we'll see what's going on with Sasha 9 in the deprivation chamber uh, or whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, but anyway, if you liked it, give me a, uh, you know, do the social media things. Give me a give me a hand here, and um, if you didn't like it, sorry. I'll uh, I'll keep I'll keep improving. Um, but thanks for stopping by. Uh, but as always, blessings. <laughs>